Hello, how are you? In Spain, more than 5% of people over 40 suffer from osteoarthritis of the hip. It is more likely in women, with close relatives, who suffer from it, if you smoke or if you are overweight. The hip joints have cartilage between the pelvic bones and the femur. Osteoarthritis occurs when this cartilage wears out, the joint then becomes damaged and cannot move easily. The body tries to repair the joint but sometimes fails to do so, resulting in pain, especially in the groin, buttocks or side of the hip, stiffness and swelling. It may make it difficult to carry out daily activities, or even to sleep. The pain may also flare up, varying from day to day. Most of us will get osteoarthritis in joints as we get older, but it does not always cause pain. Which options are best for you depends on your personal preferences, age, and how your symptoms affect your day-to-day -day life. Not all treatments are available in the national health system at all times. With the right support, most people learn to cope well with their osteoarthritis. You can combine things you can do on your own with drug treatment. Ultimately, there is surgery. But let's take it step by step. First of all, it is good to be active, as exercise can relieve symptoms. This strategy is more likely to work if you choose what you enjoy doing. Many people feel better with specific exercises to improve movement and strength. Your healthcare professional can explain further. In any case, start slowly and accept that it is normal to feel sore and tired at first. But if the pain prevents you from sleeping for several days, you may have overdone it. It's a matter of resting for a couple of days and, when you feel better, gradually resume. If this is not the case, you should discuss it with your doctor. A common difficulty is being overweight. As it puts extra strain on the joints, it increases pain. This, in turn, complicates weight loss as it makes exercise painful. Some people find relief from this situation in support groups as they try to lose weight and become more active. On the other hand, the hands of a physiotherapist or osteopath can relieve pain, especially in combination with exercise. If all this is insufficient, walking aids can be used, they help to take the weight off the hip, which can relieve pain, especially if walking more than usual or on uneven ground. They also increase stability and reduce the likelihood of falls. Of course, you may need to tell people around you that you need more space or that you need to slow down. A note about therapies that are not recommended for osteoarthritis of the hip, there is no evidence that they are harmful, but there is no good evidence that electrotherapies such as TENS machines, acupuncture, insoles, or footwear are helpful, or that supplements such as glucosamine and chondroitin relieve osteoarthritis pain. All medicines have potential risks and benefits. Some of them must be prescribed by a doctor. Let's look at the three groups, with their pros and cons, including the numbers. The first group is the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, in tablet form, such as ibuprofen, naproxen, or celecoxib. They are effective for osteoarthritis pain in at least 57 out of 100 patients, although the remaining 43 patients did not notice any improvement. Some NSAIDs require a prescription. A doctor should be consulted before taking NSAIDs, as some people should not take them. 
They have adverse effects and should be taken at the lowest dose that works for you, for as short a time as possible, and usually with other tablets that protect the stomach. In fact, 21 patients out of 100 report stomach problems. The longer you take NSAIDs and the higher the dose, the greater the risk of side effects, such as kidney damage, stomach bleeding, heart attack and stroke. If you already have kidney or heart problems, the risk is even higher. The second group is the weak opioids. You should only take weak opioids such as codeine if you cannot take NSAIDs. As with NSAIDs, the lowest therapeutic dose should be taken for the shortest possible time. 47 patients out of 100 experience relief, while the rest do not. Opioids can cause side effects and addiction. Between 60 to 70 percent of patients reported stomach problems. Strong opioids, such as patches, are discouraged. The third group is injectable steroids. They can help people with very severe and long-standing osteoarthritis. One out of two patients experienced relief. They can reduce pain for up to three months. They are usually given under local anesthetic, using ultrasound to guide the injection. There is a small risk of complications, such as pain, infection, which occurs 13% of the time, bleeding or bruising where the needle is inserted. On the other hand, there is no good evidence that paracetamol relieves osteoarthritis pain, and prolonged use could be harmful. There is also no convincing evidence that stem cell therapy or platelet-rich plasma reduces osteoarthritis pain. And hyaluronic acid injections do not help osteoarthritis of the hip. Approximately 1 in 10 patients opt for hip replacement surgery within 10 years of first seeing their doctor. The rest can manage their osteoarthritis without going to the operating theater. Hip replacement is usually only offered to people with severe osteoarthritis, with acute pain that has lasted for a long time and or other measures that have not helped. The operation usually relieves pain and improves basic basic mobility, but the new joint may be less mobile than the original one. It is best to talk to your doctor to get a realistic expectation of the operation before deciding. The operation will work best if you are active, stop smoking, and are at a healthy weight. During the operation, you will be given either spinal anesthesia, from the waist down, or general anesthesia. The surgeon makes a cut in the hip, removes the damaged joint and inserts a new one. The operation takes one to three hours. A hospital stay of one to five days is usually required. After the operation, blood thinners will be prescribed to prevent blood clots in the leg or lung. A physiotherapist will usually be available to guide the rehabilitation and advise on home exercises. This part is vital for recovery. If you notice that the new joint or the operated leg is hot, red, swollen or more painful, you should contact your GP immediately. Otherwise, there will be a checkup at the hospital after six to eight weeks. Out of 100 people, 87 said their hip was much better, 8 said it was better, 2 said it was about the same, and 3 said it was worse or much worse. And what about complications? Out of every 100 people, about one had a blood clot in the leg, a deep vein thrombosis, and half of them had a pulmonary embolism requiring urgent treatment. Between one and two people had a dislocated hip, requiring further surgery. Five to 20 people were left with more than one centimeter difference in the length of their legs. Between one and two people had an infection which required another surgery. About one person suffered nerve damage that changed the feeling in their leg. Finally, seven people had their hips replaced again within 15 years. This is because replacement joints, today, are not eternal. But replacing them involves a very large and difficult operation. That is why the doctor will only recommend it if the pain is very severe and everything else has been tried. 
How quickly you recover depends on your age, general health, and fitness, as well as how well you adhere to the recommended exercises and the guidance you receive after the operation. Surgery does not improve everyone's quality of life, as we have seen. It should be possible to stop using crutches or a walker about six weeks after the operation. Pain and swelling may take up to three months to go away. For some people, recovery may take many months, and some may need more physiotherapy. As for driving, most patients can get behind the wheel after about six weeks, if they feel confident to do so. As for work, it depends on the type of work, office work can usually be done after six weeks, but for more physical work you will have to wait longer. Anyway, I hope I have given you some information to help you make the best decision. In any case, all the best, and thank you very much.